See there? All right, so this is our completed HPV project. Right here we have a control module. It's housing our microprocessor along with a couple of our sensors. On top of it, we have a current sensor mounted. It's a 30 amp current sensor. Right to the right of that one is the voltage sensor, which is uh, between zero to 30 volts as well. Um, this right here is the control module and all the connections that we make for each of the sensors. Uh, let's follow it down here. We have a stepper motor, which is going to be aiding in our shifting of the gears. So this stepper motor is a linear actuator. As this pulls uh, this guide rail here to, towards it through this cable and leading to the actual derailleur, this gets pulled or uh, the spring will get it released so it'll change the gears. So forward is going to be upshift and backwards is downshift. Here's our motor that's linked to the same shaft. And this right here is connected to our rear with a 60 tooth sprocket, a fixed 60 tooth sprocket. Now, uh, this guy here is our power block. There's a switch. This is where you plug the charger in, and this is where the battery gets plugged in. Uh, the way the switch works, middle is off for both of them. One way is charge, the other way is run. This is our LCD that displays all the pertinent information. Uh, right now, the values here, other than speed, are uh, just the raw data being spit out by the sensors. These are the 12-bit ADC data. We have speed on the very first, which is in miles per hour. Current, voltage. We're also t uh, sensing X and Y tilt, so we can figure out uh, angles. And then we're also measuring the motor temperature, which is the one on the very bottom. We also keep a track of what gear we're in. So every time it shifts, it's going to trigger here to, to tell you which gear you're in. So let's run it real quick. Here's our throttle. Uh, there's a speed sensor in the back. It's a Hall effect sensor. And every time it rotates, of course, it determines the RPM based on the lag time between each pulse. Here's our accelerometer. What, that's what we're measuring tilt. So forward and backwards. Uh, and then left and right, every time we make a turn, you can figure out either the G-forces that's uh, it's being experienced as it turns. And also, um, to maximize our battery efficiency, if you're going up a, uh, up a particular incline or a particular grade of incline, we'll be able to determine that and either we'll turn off the motor so that the person will pedal in order to conserve the battery life. Uh, when we're going up incline, of course, it's going to be drawing a lot more current and we're trying to prevent that. And, uh, okay, here we go. So we'll see. This right now is going to be shifting two gears at about 11 miles per hour. This will sense that it needs to upshift because the ideal speed or the ideal gear at 11 is the gear that we selected, which is the next gear up. Uh, below 8 miles per hour, as soon as it drops below 8 miles per hour, it'll downshift to the first gear that we have. So let's see it work. Oh, ah, safety. Turned it off, now it's turned back on, I lied. Okay, here we go. Right now it's registering 2.97 miles per hour. You'll see at exactly about 11, this derailleur will start moving. about 8 miles per hour, it'll det determine that it needs to downshift. And there it goes again. And it just downshifted. And that's it. It works. HPV, out. <laughs>